garden trellises can be such an amazing addition to your garden. Not only can you get them just for decorative purposes, but you can also get them to benefit you in your garden by freeing up a lot of space if they were not growing on trellises. So today what I wanna show you is three different things that we're growing in our garden this year, and we're gonna grow them on trellises. So let's go ahead and let's get started. There are so many types of trellises that you can have in your garden. We have made trellises using bamboo sticks. I'll show you the trellises that we've made using cattle panel, but we actually purchased these arch trellises this year, and we got these from Gardener Supply. And so, so far we have our tomatoes that are growing um, nice on here. And then we also have cucumbers that we're training to go up. And it's so many different ways that you can make trellises or you can buy them. But I love the fact that you can buy some for decorative purposes, which is what we did right here. But you can also have trellises in your garden because they really help save on space in your garden because you are able to grow vertically. So as opposed to letting the plant sprawl all over the place, you can train the plant to grow up a trellis and then that makes room for you to grow more plants in your garden. So on this particular trellis right here, we have our tomatoes that are growing. These are indeterminate tomatoes, which means they are basically going to keep growing until we have our first frost. And then, um, so they'll keep climbing up and getting very tall. Now we've been trying to train them with this particular tomato and the other tomato over there. I do use these clips right here to try to train them up and then I'm constantly pruning uh, the tomato, the lower leaves as they continue to get bigger um, and bigger, but they are starting to go up. And so when you have indeterminate tomatoes, they can get really tall. But again, by training them on this trellis, this is saving me space so that I'm able to grow the other flowers, vegetables, and herbs in this bed. So this part of the garden is a work in progress, but we also have our cucumbers that we are training to grow up the trellis. So these are Japanese cucumbers that we have. And so as they continue to grow, we're gonna to begin to train them to go up this trellis right here. Okay, so next I wanna show you the cattle panel trellis. These are very cost effective and I absolutely love them. We have had them for several seasons now and they we've grown uh, the Mexican cucumbers, we've grown tomatoes, butterfly pea flowers, uh, we've grown a lot of things on these cattle panel trellises. So basically you can get the cattle panel at your local feed store. At the time, y'all, they were about under $30, I'll say that. And then the T-posts, these are five foot T-posts. They have four foot, five foot, six foot T-posts. They were about maybe five to $6 each. And then we have the zip ties. Be very careful when you are um, putting the T-post in the ground because you don't want to disturb like any underground utilities or wires or anything like that. Um, but you could seriously make your own cattle panel trellis and we have two right here um, for under $50. And so again, we've grown a whole bunch of things on these cattle panels. And then we've actually taken some of the cattle panels, used some wire cutting and then cut them to the size that we want and use the T-post to also make a trellis as well. So you can do that. You don't have to use the whole um, cattle panel. You can uh, cut it to the height that you need. So keep that in mind as well. And it's very, very cost effective. So I absolutely love the cattle panels um, that we have in the garden. Okay, so let me tell you, when you don't have a lot of space or you want to grow vertically or you want to save on space, 
trellises can definitely be your friend and they're all different types so just think about what you're growing what works best for you and what works best with the space that you are growing in so what i want y'all to do now is comment below let me know if you use trellises if you do let me know what you are growing on your trellis so as always, thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching and until the next video, bye-bye.